Let's discuss. Rachel back again with another reaction video and today I am stoked because Thornhill has put out a new single. I love Thornhill. I haven't really done any talking about Thornhill on the channel other than just uh, when, you know, we're talking about Thornhill in, in streams and stuff like that, but no videos or anything. I love Thornhill. The Dark Pool was out before I had my channel, so I haven't got a chance to really do anything related to Thornhill. I did do a few videos and have mentioned the band Cherry a few times on my channel. They're members from Thornhill in that band. We also did a cover of Alice on the channel, which was really fun. Uh, the vocalist, Jacob, I'm a vi big fan of his voice both in Thornhill and in Cherry. So uh, the art that I've seen for this is looking a little bit different. So um, I'm not sure if the sound will be any different or what, but I just love Thornhill. Very excited to check this out. So I am going to stop talking. We are going to get straight into it. Casanova by Thornhill. What? <laughs> Oh, 
Thornhill, Casanova, let's discuss. A definite sound change for Thornhill. This probably had more shock factor than anything else during my first listen to it. So I went back and had another listen to it after my reaction to kind of try to take in more of it. I think vocally it will be something that I have to get used to more. Vocally it will be something that needs to grow on me a bit more. I don't dislike it at all. It had a lot of parts that had a little bit more flavor than I feel like you get across Thornhill's discography. Definitely highlights the sound change it's something different like the uh and stuff like that and the vocals that sort of stuff it's different Jacob has a lot of style going on in the video that I really like but I think the sound of the vocals I can't place what it reminds me of or what style I would even classify that as but it's not something that I dislike it's something that I'll have to get used to I think will grow on me more even on my second listen I was like okay yeah this is I'm jamming to this. So it it's definitely a shock factor matter. The sound change was... I was expecting to because the cover art, it looks different. When I first saw the cover art, I was thinking... The first thing I thought was, this is probably going to sound different. This doesn't look like, you know, the dark pool or anything like that. Butterfly. And I think that the sound that Jacob has with his vocals in Thornhill's discography, especially on the dark pool, that is just... If you go and listen, I've talked about this like a... a I don't know, maybe it was during Cherry Reactions, because like I said, I haven't really done anything related to Thornhill on the channel, but I've talked about the isolated vocals version they have of the Dark Pool. You can get it on Bandcamp, it's on YouTube as well. I'll link it in the description. It really highlights just how beautiful his voice is. I think even more of the clean vocal style on Thornhill than the unclean vocal style is what really just it puts them on an entirely different level for me so while I enjoy this I don't think that it's it's capable of being at that level because I, that's like one of my favorites um, but taking this on its own as, as its own entity as a, a sound that Thornhill may be pursuing with an album or, or whatever EP anything really whatever they're doing next another single I like the sound it will definitely be when you think about like the vibes so instrumentally I feel like a lot of Thornhill was in the guitar and the riffs there was a spot around 135 there's a really thick riff that kicks in there and then it it goes and it opens up a bit and I, I just love the part where it opens up and then the, the bass kicks in and then it goes into that that guitar solo which it the entire song just has this this different sort of vibe that I think is a bit outside of the things that I normally listen to so I don't necessarily know how to label those things but even the guitar solo it just it has this sound to it that is sort of mm, I don't know how to say it so I'm not going to um, but it's definitely something totally different to be adding to my catalog not a sound that I have a lot of but instrumentally I think some Thornhill aspects are definitely still very present you can hear the guitar like the riffs I feel like work really well with the change vocally but also like I was saying you can hear that guitar tone you hear Thornhill and some of the instrumentals as well not so much that solo that was definitely something that aligns with the sound change I think the it lines up very well with that vocal style I would say so I don't know what you would classify this as it's definitely different and something that I will listen to it won't go it won't go immediately on repeat, like over and over type of deal, but it's something that will work into my rotation. And I want to do some more listening to kind of dive a little bit deeper into that sound. So that's one thing about a sound change too, that I don't immediately dislike or that I, I don't, there are some sound changes that just fall outside of people's taste. Uh, but when it's something like this, that I like the sound of, and I don't really have much experience listening to stuff like this, it definitely brings something to the table to want to listen to it more, gives it a, a bit of an advantage, I guess, there wanting to dive deeper into the things I don't understand about it, I guess. Well, that was a really long way to say that. So those are really my thoughts on the song. It's kind of hard to put it all together, given that shock value that I mentioned. It's surprising, even though I knew there would probably be a sound change the first time I saw the album art or the single art for this, it still was not the sound change that I was expecting. It still took me by surprise. So even knowing that, I was like, what? But I like this. I like the style that Jacob has going on, the groove going on with the the vocals, the uh and stuff I was talking about. I think overall stylistically it will take a bit of getting used to to me but I do feel like this has the potential to be more of a grower more of something that I 
end up listening to more than I think I will anyway. So uh, we'll find out. Let me know what you thought in the comments. I'm sure that this will be widely talked about amongst Thornhill fans. So let me know your thoughts on the sound change. I will link the video I reacted to as well as all of Thornhill's social media, merch, that good stuff in the description of this video. In addition to that, you can find my link tree link in the description, which has all of my social media such as the Discord server that I talk about in every video. It is full of a bunch of my favorite people. Um, really, this last year and a half, it's been a great place to be while spending more time at home. Really, even not spending more time at home. It's just a bunch of really fantastic people. We have music-related conversation, conversation unrelated to music, a whole lot going on there. So if you're interested in coming to join, that will be there, as well as my Instagram profile link. On Instagram, I post all music-related stuff, merch, sweatshirts, vinyl, shirts, flags, whatever I have ready to go that week. Sometimes I'll post about shows now that shows are back. Uh, every Friday, I post a chart of what I've listened to the most over the course of the week, that type of stuff. So if that interests you at all, that will be there. My handle is Rachel Reacts, just like my YouTube channel, but I will put it up here on the screen for you, as well as having it in that link tree in the description if you have any interest in following me. As always, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it.